Hey guys, this is Jenny from Rainy Day Coloring. I have a super fun quick video for you tonight. Um, this is, uh, I was tagged by Danny Buttons who just did her second coloring scavenger hunt, round two of her coloring scavenger hunt. Now the first round she did, I wanna say it was like springish. I wasn't making videos on Instagram at this point, but um, I remember watching the videos of people doing that, that tag and like it just inspired me so much got me so excited and was part of what really made me want to have my own channel so Danny's gone ahead and picked 10 different tags and then one bonus and with the instructions to kind of and you can do this how you want but find a picture that matches that tag and it can be one that you've colored that you want to color whatever I've decided that from her 10 different um well, 11 with the bonus, um, her 10 little tags to find that I'm going to try to, um, all of my pictures I found are pictures I haven't colored yet. And my personal goal is to color them in October, I'm sorry, in September. So I won't do another video of these pictures finished, but hopefully if you watch my end of September video, you will see all 11 of these colored. And I'll let you know in that video if I if I did it. So the first one she has is a picture of a beverage, maybe seasonal. For that, I picked Hannah Lynn, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. And I want to do this now her little a little cup a little hot cup of coffee or tea or whatever but I really like to think this is like what I envision my fall my winter I want to be snuggled up you know in bed with my iPad and my cat and maybe throw my husband and kid in there and watching watching videos so I thought this would be a fun one to start fall with I will say that I don't know if this is cheating but when I took all the little words Danny had found um, I did first go to my coloring cart and my books that I knew I wanted to color in this month and I was like let me see if I can find things that match in there and I did find some so it worked out. Um, I had to go beyond a little bit. Number two is a picture of a dog. So for this I went to Jess Falinski's Adorable Pets. I actually haven't colored in this book. This is brand new to me so this will be fun and this sweet little dog. Isn't he or she so cute? I knew I would have a lot of fun with this background. Um, coloring realistic animals completely intimidates me. Um, so this feels like, okay, I can I can handle this because this the doodly background is right up my alley. So hopefully we'll do it. Number three, something that scares you or is spooky. Actually, I found these books like yesterday or the day before and I can't remember what all my pictures are. So it'll be a surprise for both of us as we go. Um, this is the Chibi Girls Jade Summer Grayscale. So her two books in one. And what did I? Oh, I know why I picked this. Okay. Um, something that scares me. I actually love horror movies. I love to be scared. I love to read horror books. Um, just totally into like the macabre. I love all things scary. Um, what actually really, really terrifies me as an individual is, um, the unexplored. So like, uh, Although I personally love to be scared, I would never go in a cave. Like I have never in my life been someone that's like, man, I hope I get to go to outer space someday or I wanna go, you know, spelunking. So although this is not a traditional necessarily super horror picture, although you do have like a skull and webs and, and a snake and all that, this whole idea of exploring this like dark um, cave, cavern, dark spot is horrifying to me. So gonna do that for this for something that scares me for spooky four is a witch so excited because I have the new cute witches by Jade Summer in gray scale and so I just picked I mean I hope to do more than one image from here but this is one that I was really excited to do these two little witches doing a potion and this giant you know monster jack-o-lantern is coming out behind them so this will be my first witches for the month Five is candy, and this was very, 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 very hard. Um, I did find those Sherry Baldi's Nifty 50 Tattoo Besties, which I've been wanting to color in, so I feel like this is a little bit of a cheat. Um, this cutie with her big, giant lollipop. 
is what I'm gonna do for candy this month. Next we had Woodland Critter. I also had on my cart um, Daisy Joy Little Witch's coloring book. This was new to me. I was saving it for September, super excited. And I found this cute witch with an owl and a moon. Um, I love all things nighttime moon related. Um, so very excited to do that one. Number seven, palm tree. This was also really hard. And again, I couldn't remember what I picked because so I had to go kind of look. Um, this is from Jade Shummer's Greatest Hits, 100 Best Coloring Pages. And man, oh man, if you're doing a coloring scavenger hunt, it's great to look in a collection for something. Because for my palm tree, which was hard to find, I did find, this is from Jade Summer's Island Paradise book, this picture um, with a palm tree. Um, I actually want to do this one like in the next week as sort of like my see you later summer and as I transition to like lots more folly, folly type pictures. So cute, cute. Number eight, vegetables. I actually messaged Janny and I was like, okay, are mushrooms a vegetable? Like, I mean, I think they're technically a fungus, a fungi, but, oh, did I say what this is? This is from Jade Summer's Autumn. Technically, this could be a woodland critter picture too, but we have our um, mushroom vegetables, right? Um, and our little chipmunk or squirrel. So this will be a fun to bring in fall. Number nine is hat. I couldn't resist you guys. I did my 50 lovely gnomes by Camellia Angel Calva, and I picked one that has three hats or with these little guys. Again, another moon picture. I'm a sucker for night pictures. Um, really cute. It's excited to do that. Number 10 is books. And this is another book that I haven't colored in yet and I wanted to this month. This is the Little People Big Dreams coloring book. And how perfect is this for books? Agatha Christie. So I thought this would be a fun one. Um, I mean, relatively simple. It'll be interesting to decide. But also, I I mean, I love a good, bright, multicolored page, but I don't feel like I could do these and, you know, the rainbow colors that I want to. I think I might make them more muted, all her books. I don't know. Um, but really excited to work on this this month. And then the bonus was if you could, you know, travel anywhere right now or be anywhere right now, where would you want to be? Um, we have stayed very close to home this summer um, and we haven't traveled very much at all. I love, love, love um, the ocean. I love lakes. I love water. So this is Deborah Muller's Stained Glass book. And I picked this little scene. You see you have a beautiful sun. There's a sailboat. There's a dolphin. I'm just imagining this is somewhere tropical. And I would love to either be on that boat or, um, you know, uh, on the beach looking at this gorgeous scene. So this is also probably going to be, I'll do in the next week as my... Um, end of summer maybe I'll maybe I'll see you next summer on a warm beach somewhere anyway Danny thank you so much for having such a cool scavenger hunt I'm super excited for these 11 pictures um, I'm excited to have them be part of my goals for September to get these colored and done and then shown to everyone in my September wrap-up I do want to tag a couple people um, to do this scavenger hunt I want to tag pebbles adult coloring here on YouTube um, I also want to tag Crafting with Christy on YouTube, and I also want to tag my um, dear friend on Instagram, Meg's Art to Treat. <sighs> Meg, every time I miss, every time, it's like a tongue twister. Me saying your Instagram name, it is. I'm so embarrassed. Um, Meg, and it's at <laughs> Meg's Art to Trium. Anyway, I'll have all their links below in the comments um, or in the description, and I'll also have a link to Danny's original video as well as um, what all of the different tags are for the scavenger hunt. And if you haven't been tagged by someone, just do it anyway. It's super fun. Um, the more people doing it, the better, right? All right, guys. I hope everyone's having a great day and staying healthy, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.